interesting experiences I ever had was uh, doing a program with the BBC um, there. It was one of the radio programs. The program involved uh, I and uh, Henry Morris III traveling around the country interviewing people about evolution and about their religion. And I interviewed scientists and Henry III interviewed creationists which was really, you know, which was so much better than, than what they wanted to do to start mm. with, which was, you know, let's you, and, let's you and him fight because that's kind of the general press narrative. They, you know. But I said, no, you, you know, creation and evolution, it's been done. It's boring. Why don't you have us go and talk to people about religion? And they, oh, that's different. So it was really fun. But one of the people I got to interview was Ken Ham. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, he, you know, the advance work, um, his people didn't quite make it completely clear to him what was going on. Mm. Uh, so when we sat down, he had his science staff kind of in the, you know, surrounding us, almost like, well, if she asks a question about science, I'll just ask him and he'll, you know, supply the astronomy. Or, you know. And so I could tell that there's something, you know, he, he clearly didn't understand what the purpose of this interview was. So what I did was start off our discussion by saying, well, you know, we're not here to debate creation and evolution. And he looked a little disappointed, but there you have it. I said, we're here to talk about your religious beliefs, because I think this is a very interesting question. You know, what is it that you believe, and you know, how is this guided what you've done here at the Creation Museum? This was several years ago before the Art Park. And he kind of blinked a few times, but once he figured out Oh, okay, that's what we're doing. It was absolutely fascinating because basically he um, he launched forth with this description of his religious beliefs and why evolution is so important to him. And I found it absolutely fascinating. I had to do very little interviewing because he just poured forth his heart on why evolution was such a terrible idea. Um, and you could, know, you, could you sympathize a bit after that? Well, you know, I always, I mean, I, I let, I, I'm not a religious person, I'm a humanist, so I let other religious people debate the, the value of somebody else's religious views, because I don't have a dog in that fight. But I, I certainly understood him better. Um, and I understood why hmm. he feels so strongly about, uh, trying to turn, especially children, away from evolution. In a nutshell, um, it's because children are going to, if they, if they quote believe quote evolution, they will stop believing in God. They will stop believing in the Bible. They will go to hell and not be reunited with God at the end times, nor will they ever see their beloved family members again, nor will their family members see them, which is a very, a very big issue. Uh, and uh, they will not have the moral guidance that the Bible provides. It's like a deal breaker, That's, I guess. It's, it is, I mean, it is, it is totally unacceptable from that point of view for evolution to be correct. Because they believe that that evolution results in a cascade of disaster for young people. So they fight very, very hard to keep it from happening.